Everybody, welcome back to another eBay supersize sales of $100 or more. The sales in this video were posted on my Facebook group in June. We have a dedicated thread every month where you can post those $100 or more sales. And thanks to everybody who posts because the whole eBay community learns a lot from this thread. Okay, before we get started, today's date is July 11th, 2023, and two days ago the USPS change took effect. That happened on July 9th, and I made a quick video about how it looks now with ground advantage. So you can skip ahead four minutes if you don't need to see this demo, but here it is for those of you who haven't shipped anything yet and are curious about how it looks now when you print a shipping label. Hey everybody, today is July 9th. The day we've been waiting for to see what the new USPS ground advantage is going to look like. So I have some items to ship even though it's Sunday I'm going to go ahead and ship them and show you what this looks like in case you are concerned that you can't figure it out or you don't know what to do. Yes change can be scary but this is not. <laughs> this is not 33 men trapped in a mine. It's just a shipping label. So let's just pick one of these and go to the shipping screen so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so here we are and as always I double check the weight and this one is actually 8 ounces. I'm going to put that in, let it recalibrate and look down here, there it is, USPS Ground Advantage. This item was originally coded as first class, so there it is, you can use the new service, you still get your discount. It says on eBay you save 24%. There's the price or if you want to keep using first class you can do that but it is being phased out. So what would be the point of using the old one? Just jump on board. Let's use the new one. It's totally fine. So um, there's the price $4.44. Over here you can see the buyer paid $5.85. So I'm getting the discount, everything is fine, this transitioned seamlessly, and then if we go down to uh, purchase shipping label, I'll show you what it looks like so that you don't have to fear this. Change doesn't have to be scary. So we're going to hit print label, and there it is, it says USPS ground advantage, it's 8 ounces, which is the old first class, but everything transitioned perfectly well, um, no problems there. Um, but I just wanted to show you that this transitioned just fine for me, no problems. Now when you go to create a listing, you're going to see the USPS Ground Advantage Choice and let me show you that. Okay, this is an item that weighs 14 ounces, so under the old way it would be first class and this is calculated. So before this change I would have chosen first class and when we go on the domestic services choices we see USPS parcel select slash ground advantage but first class is still there. So maybe that hasn't transitioned yet. I'm going to go ahead and choose that for one of my options and then I'm going to put um, the parcel select ground advantage as my second choice. Remember having two shipping choices helps you place higher in search. 
So I usually have two shipping options on all my listings. Anyway, so there it is. That's what it looks like. My feeling is first class is going to be phased out, but we're still seeing it for now. So don't let that freak you out. Just go about your business and choose what applies to your listing and keep moving. As with all eBay changes and changes in life, sometimes things take a little while to catch up and transition. So there it is. No problems. Very easy. I hope this helped you and have a great day on eBay. Bye, everybody. Okay, on to the sales. We're going to start with Diane Stumpf. This was the cargo cover for my old car that I don't own anymore. Found this in the garage about a month after the sale. Listed it on eBay for $189.99. Accepted a best offer of $100, just enough to get on this thread. The item is a Kia Soul rear cargo privacy cover. And Diane, you're on this thread all the time, <laughs> but I'm glad this one squeaked by so you can be on it again. Next up is Shelly Carpenter Wood, free to me, always love finding blow molds. Sold for full asking price of $100 in about four months. I had so many lowball offers. I knew I could wait for the right buyer to come along. Vintage 1970s Empire Plastic Blow Mold Reindeer Only Christmas Decoration. So this sold for $100 and she got it for free. Here's another Christmas item. Julie Gambino purchased for $8 at a local thrift store while traveling for work. Took a couple of months, sold for best offer of $100. Christmas sells all year. Yes, it does. The item is a vintage Brin's Winking Eye Santa Claus ceramic pitcher. And it looks like it's in pristine condition, which is surprising in a thrift store. Anyway, $8 sold for $100. And here's a kind of freaky item if you are not a fan of squirrels, which I am not. Leisha Rouston bought this Oahawken. Yes, I looked up how to pronounce that. <laughs> Hope I got it right. Mexican wood carved squirrel at an estate sale in September of 2022. Changed the price several times and finally sold it this week for $100 after receiving an offer from a buyer in Japan. So there you go. She did not say what she paid for it, but it sold for $100. Bethany Henderson paid $40 in Phoenix two weeks ago at a Buffalo Exchange, sold for $105 this week. Easy flip. Can't believe puffers are selling in the summer. Yes, eBay knows no seasons. Everything sells all year. This is a Patagonia Goose Down Puffer Vest. $40 sold for $105. So she almost tripled her money on this in a very short time. Jody Clark paid $5.94 at Goodwill for this Nikon Coolpix camera. Sold in a few hours for $109.95 plus free shipping. So there you can see it's everything, including the box, the camera, the cords, the SIM card, all that stuff. $5.94 sold for $109.95. So almost $100 profit on that. Wendy Kruger paid $3.50 at an estate sale, sold for $110 plus shipping in eight months. This is the second set I have sold. 
I put them in two lots of four. These are Lynn Chase Tiger Raj Pimpernel Placemats. $3.50 sold for $110. Eileen Cole. This vintage cookware set was part of an estate sale bundle. I have literally one to two dollars into it. I accepted a best offer of $110 plus shipping. And look how beautiful those are. I don't know if you had to clean them, Eileen, but you did an outstanding job. Vintage David Craft stainless copper clad cookware pots and pans sold for $110. Nicole Gray Diaz sold for $110. Estate sale find bargained a lot of 19 solid perfume compacts down to $140, so about $7.36 each. Estee Lauder Vintage Cinnabar Contented Cat Solid Perfume. So it has a little latch there and you open it and inside is the solid perfume which is like a waxy kind of substance. So $7.36 to $110. Jennifer Elliott. I found four packs of vintage bar soap for $1.99 each at a local Goodwill. So $8 total. The first pack sold for $34 plus shipping. A buyer messaged me for what kind of deal I would give her for the remaining three packs, which was 12 bars. We settled on $114 plus shipping. The buyer later thanked me and explained she loves this soap because its scent reminds her of her grandmother. It took about a month to sell. So this is a lot of 12 bars of Vell soap. And if this looks familiar, it's because it was in the 2023 Bolo book and the information is spot on. Price shown per bar in the book is $10. Jennifer's listing came out to $9.50 per bar. So if you don't know about this item, this has been a Bolo for a long time. They don't make it anymore. Introduced in the United States in the 1940s and retired in 2002. It was sold in Argentina, Mexico, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, and other Latin American countries, as well as in Scandinavia. Still popular in the Danish market, so be prepared to ship internationally. And this has been on my radar forever. This was one of the first bolos I ever learned. And I haven't come across it yet, but that doesn't mean I won't. And it doesn't mean you won't. So now you know about it. Moving on to Kim Knox Engel. Paid $4 at a place that sells unclaimed mail. Now I know there's one in Alabama. I wonder if that's the one you went to. Anyway, those places are fascinating because you just don't know what you're going to find. Took a best offer for $120. Sold in about a week. This is a Bratz Pretty in Punk doll from 2001. $4 sold for $120. And Kim, I really like that you are finding inventory at kind of an unusual place. I imagine most people do not have access to these places that sell unclaimed mail and you know what I was thinking about was the unclaimed luggage place in Alabama so I uh, got that confused for a second but what a great place to find things to resell okay moving on to Tracy Broadfoot I purchased eight dolls from the Barbie happy family collection for twenty dollars at a yard sale about a month ago Grandma and Grandpa are the only two I have listed so far. These sold for full asking of $125 plus shipping. $20 bucks into $125 in about a month. Karen Jensen Layton got free at a garage sale, sold for $125. This is Care Bears Holiday Train Musical Express. 
What a great flip. Free and it's sold for $125. Next up is Jennifer Stevens. I got these for free. Sold two sets to buyer for $125 each plus shipping. These are Schumacher Greff wallpaper four double rolls. Free and sold for $125. KC Vetterly, $5 at the thrift, sold for $129.95 in two days. I buy all Nike golf clubs. These are, well, it's just one. Nike Vapor Fly 13, three fairway wood graphite, tensai blue stiff flex. He didn't even put golf club in the title because there's so much more specific information. Um, that was a good call to use all the characters for the specifics so that the buyers can find it. Okay, Brian Rappaport bought five iPods at a garage sale last weekend for $12. Sold this one for $129.99 in two days. Apple iPod 7th generation. $129.99 in two days. So that should light a fire under you to get those items listed. They could sell right away. Jane Brown, free from a house clean out. Accepted offer of $135 shipped to Chile. Took six months to sell. Huge vintage Barbie doll and clothing lot, accessories, cars, and case. Free, sold for $135. You go, Jane. You know how to hustle it. Carol Hollis paid $2 at a yard sale. Sold in under 48 hours for best offer of $135. This is a Hobart KitchenAid model slicer. $2 into $135. And it's sold in 48 hours. Scott Ware got at an auction back in April for $25, sold in about two months after price drop from $155. This is Star Wars Vintage 1983 Kenner Jabba the Hutt playset. <laughs> okay, $25 sold for $145. And doesn't that just take you back? Jabba the Hutt. I haven't heard that in a long time. Carlos Chavez, our mailman. I got this Daughter of Smoke and Bone Trilogy hardcover set for $5 at a garage sale and sold it in about a week for $149.81 plus shipping. Way to go, Carlos. Elizabeth Jackson, Magnolia Pearl pre-owned plain t-shirt. Consignment sold for $150. I sell a lot of Magnolia Pearl and always fixed price. Price at the top of the comps and be patient. No need to price anywhere than the top. So there you can see it is just a kind of distressed looking t-shirt. Uh, there is a name for this. It's called Poverty Core. <laughs> Like cottage core, Barbie core, princess core. Now they have a word for if you want to look like you are living in poverty, you too can pay $150 for a ratty old distressed t shirt that looks like it's been at the bottom of a dumpster. But hey, that's the thing now. Bill Hunt. Got this new in box Schlage lock at a yard sale for $15. Sold within a week for $150. Wow. Schlage Connect Camelot Aged Bronze Smart Deadbolt with Alarm. And so it's one of those locks that has a code to it, which are very popular now, especially if you are an Airbnb or a Verbo host or do any kind of rental, most all of them now have just the code lock so you don't have to fool with a key. Next up is Francisco Infante. Found these Red Wing Irish Setter boots at an estate sale for $30. 
cleaned them up a bit and listed them for $199. Got some interest pretty quick and I accepted an offer of $150 plus shipping within two weeks. Customer loved them. Keep an eye out for any Red Wing good quality boots. Have fun hunting. So there you can see they are Red Wing Irish Setter Men's Leather Hunting Boots, size 8D, $30, sold for $150. Karen Monks paid $2 at a yard sale, took a $155 offer after a couple of days. This is another pair of boots, Herman Shoes Boots, U.S. World War II Paratrooper Jump Boots, size 8.5. $2 sold for $155. Joyce Newman Bodenhammer just sold the last water filter. Bought 10 of these for a total of $100 at an estate sale about four months ago. Each one sold for full price plus shipping for a profit of over a, oh, over $1,500. Wow. Genuine Amway E84 housing filter assembly water treatment system so she paid 10 bucks for this and it sold for 169.85 nikki stram had this aztec design sterling silver harley davidson bangle bracelet for years in my own collection it had some enamel loss in the logo area but it still looked great picked it up at a garage sale for around eight dollars it was too big for me I could never wear it so I decided to sell it it's been listed for two hundred and eighty dollars for the last nine months I decided to drop the price this week after doing that I started getting low offers finally got one for hundred and seventy five and decided to take it and that is quite beautiful. Vintage Harley Davidson Motorcycle Sterling Silver 925 Bangle Bracelet was in her collection and just sold it for $175. Courtney Dam found this boating sailing jacket new with tags at a community sale for $15. Never heard of this brand, but I had to look it up because of the quality and condition sold for an offer of $175 in a couple of weeks. The item is Gill Men's Offshore Sailing Water Sport Jacket Graphite Black and Neon. $15 sold for $175. Lydia Buscemi Pretty Little Pen found in the junk jewelry for $2 at an estate sale. Sold on auction in one week. After the auction closed, someone offered to pay $200 if the buyer didn't pay, but she did. Art Nouveau 14 karat gold diamond enamel pansy violet flower pin. That's very pretty. $2 sold for $177.50. Patty Larvieri Purchased this for myself last summer for $5 at a garage sale. Decided to list when I discovered how much these can fetch. Still didn't believe the comps, but gave it a whirl. Sold in about four months for full listing price. Vintage 1960s clam bake lobster three piece steamer pot enamel wear. Five bucks sold for $199.99. Lewis Prizzy, purchased at a garage sale for $10, listed for $225, sold for best offer of $200 in about 10 months. Jeanette Junior Dinner Set Children's, so it's like a, like a little tea set, but it's a dinner set. $10, sold for $200. Karen Ayala, my dad was a farmer and saved everything. What happened to the other two? He probably fed the dog in them. <laughs> Hubcaps used for dog bowls. Sounds legit. These were like new, sold in two days for full asking price. 
and these are 1967 to 68 Chevy truck hubcaps and she also has the word dog dish because hey somebody else could use them for that if they wanted to so these were free to her and she sold them for two hundred and twenty five dollars Nancy Barr Strohs yard sale thirty dollars had it listed a bit higher I lowered the price to 225 and it sold within a week and this is a brown sheepskin leather bomber jacket 30 bucks sold for 225 Sarah Pyatt found at a garage sale where they had a fake Prada purse for 15 bucks and a couple maybe real coach purses for 10 bucks and this little one was buried and only five dollars sold in three weeks for best offer of three hundred dollars I originally had it listed at three hundred and seventy five so gold star for you Sarah digging to the bottom because sometimes that's where the treasures are they have fallen especially if they're small and they fall between the cracks so it pays to be a digger this is a vintage juicy couture green and blue velour purse new with tag and this was five dollars and she sold it for three hundred Emily Smith woke up to an offer on these beautiful boots paid ten dollars at a garage sale last month the highest comp I found was three hundred and forty nine dollars but current listed were four hundred and ninety nine so I went in high too but I'm not turning down a three hundred dollar sale buyer paid and they're going to Canada these are double Ralph Lauren Murdoch engineer boots and they are beautiful Terry Lewis Bishop I bought this at a community yard sale for five dollars sold in a little under a month for an offer of 349 plus shipping Wow vintage rare Coleman lantern gold bond so that must be the color five dollars sold for just under 350 Mike Mushluski I picked up this chocolate melter for $12 at a local thrift tested it and realized it was missing a small part I was able to find it on eBay for $21 sold in just under two months for full asking of 400 buyer is in Chile Choco Vision Revelation chocolate tempering machine $12 and sold for 400 <laughs> Patricia Morales my husband and I went to a new thrift store and my husband picked this up for $40 took best offer of $450 plus shipping in just a few days and this is a fluke process meter digital multimeter it's like an electronic tester so you can test voltage and that kind of thing um, I had no idea these were so expensive forty dollars and sold for four hundred and fifty so ten times the investment in just a few days only on eBay right Suzanne Keen bought this beautiful vintage fairy lamp at a garage sale for forty dollars the lady selling told me she thought it was an angel lamp until her teenage son pointed out the figure is topless <laughs> she was embarrassed to have it in her house and stored it in the garage for decades she was so thrilled I was taking it off her hands sold for full price of four hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents in a week okay Chad Cox we are always on the lookout for Omni cords even broken ones will do well for parts sold this one for five hundred and fifty dollars paid two hundred and thirty dollars but that was a lot of two different things on CTI bids so my realistic cost is less than two hundred I prefer to find them on Facebook marketplace for less money but still not a bad profit sold in just a few weeks Mary Lou Verboy 
bought at an estate sale for $5, had to buy a new battery for it, bought one off eBay for $61, so my cost was about $66, sold for full price in just a few days. This is a Philips Heart Start Home Defibrillator. Hmm, didn't know they made those. Okay, $66 sold for $599.99. So we are going to wrap up this edition <laughs> of the $100 Super Size Sales. I hope you learned something new and thanks to everyone who posts on this thread because without your posts there would be no video. Thanks for watching everybody and have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye!